What's up you guys, Batjack JW bringing out the Rock Island Armory again, the M206, this time in full 1080p high definition, something new we're going to be doing on the channel, and if you like it, which I'm sure you will, um, definitely uh, keep watching because we got a few other videos we're going to be doing uh, in this format. Not everything, but we're going to do some, so let me get this baby out again, and uh, give you a nice close up look at it. It uh, seems to be a pretty popular revolver on the channel. A lot of people have been viewing it, so figure we'll bring it out in high def and give you another uh, close look at it. I've had it for a while. Um, haven't really gotten out to shoot it. Um, just hadn't had time. I know it's been a while, but uh, anyway. Uh, so, you know, just a couple of things about it. It's supposed to be a copy of the uh, Colt Detective Special. Um, they shrouded the ejector rod. I have an older Colt Detective Special I showed in the very first review with this thing. Mine uh, does not have the shroud over the ejector rod. It kind of free floats out there. You got a little cross pin through the barrel. Um, the sights are fixed. Um, you got a front ramp sight. There's no checkering on it. It's just kind of plain. The barrel does have like this kind of um, you know, I don't know what they call that exactly, but it's got the crown on it, I guess you would say. So that's pretty neat. You can see it says uh, M206 caliber 38 special. It is not rated for plus P. I've had that question a few times in the comments of the first video. Um, the grips are wood. Um, not not some kind of great wood, wood to write home about, but they are pretty basic, but it's a pretty nice wood. Um, it's part of one of the reasons I actually bought this was because it actually was wood grips and the checkering and everything. I do like that. Uh, just got the screw over here. I did take that off and uh, check it out. It is set like how a Colt uh, screw is. You can see I've removed it a couple of times. And um, firing pin is frame mounted with the transfer bar. The hammer, like I said, I was talking about it was rather thin it appeared to be rather thin but uh, you know it's not too bad um, I've messed around a lot with this gun just kind of you know it does index pretty good um, the action is not bad but it's not nothing great either the other thing I wanted to show is on the cylinder, which I didn't talk about in the first video, was um, get it focused in here. Um, you can see the lockups on there. They're pretty crude. Again, there's nothing to, um, you know, what do you expect for the budget on the revolver here? You know, it is a budget gun. It's not like it's a, you know, a $500 gun. I paid $244 for this thing off of Bud's Guns. It was free shipping. Um, everything like that. The side plate does come off on this side with uh, these two screws here. The uh, trigger there um, and the release latch is much, very much like a Colt, exactly like a Colt. You pull, cylinder comes out, six shots. That was another thing that was very interesting to me was the uh, six shots. And uh, the size of the thing is about the size of a K-frame, maybe slightly smaller, but about the size of a K-frame. Um, the corners here are not rounded off like a Smith & Wesson is, but they're not sharp either. Um, it's not too bad. You can see that. The finish is kind of a matte parkerizing finish. Um, it does have a little bit of grease on it, so it may appear kind of satin, but it, it's more or less parkerized finish. Um, this little nub here is um, attached and you can undo it by just turning it. So be careful of that. You don't want to lose that. You want to snug that up. Um, you see a lot of these old school movies where they're actually missing that off of a Colt revolver. Uh, give you a good look on the forcing cone there. It's uh, not too thin. It's not too bad. So. It's got a little wear on it already because I've been just like I said I've been messing around with it holstering it just trying to get a feel for it really um, the lockup is a little loose a little sloppy um, just the way it comes out of the box you know you can tell some people uh, definitely agree and know that if they've handled the gun or know anything about it um, yeah it is what it is cylinder turns clockwise like a Colt everything so 
just yeah definitely uh you know for the money the budget on it it's a pretty cool revolver you're getting you know kind of a classic old school look for a couple hundred bucks you know um they may have gone up a little bit but uh since i've i bought it i bought it back in february and like i said i paid about 244 bucks from it from bud's guns online and free shipping that was a big thing you know bud's guns did the free shipping for it um and just kind of give you the overlook on the gun in high def um coming up to the channel stay tuned i will disassemble this gun uh take out all the guts out of it and show you the internal parts in high def um on this thing so keep an eye out for that video coming out soon but uh just wanted to give you another close-up look at it in high def so you kind of see what you're getting out of it the rock island armory m206 right here 38 special six shot revolver two inch barrel kind of the uh, colt detective you know special copy in high definition right here on the channel so the i'm gonna go ahead and throw this video up for you guys in high def uh, you can see it um like i said i'm gonna do some more uh videos in hd so i'm sure you'll like it so keep tuning in and uh don't worry man we got august is coming we got some good videos coming out to the channel please like share and subscribe i'm bat jack jw signing out for now and uh keep watching my friends